I wanted to make a slightly different video on a topic that you don't hear about often, but I still think it is important to think about when the situation arises as what do you wear to a funeral and how do you choose what you're wearing. My first piece of advice and best advice would be not to wear something that you love. You don't want to possibly get a sad memory attached to one of your favorite smells and not be able to enjoy it anymore. Delicious Delights talked about a fragrance that was one of her favorites and how wearing it to the funeral of someone close to her basically ruined the fragrance for her. So I thought that was fantastic advice and something I also considered when I had to consider what to wear. Depending on your nature of relationship with said person that has passed away, your experience may be different and maybe you can chance wearing something you like. I would also wear something that you only like a little bit or you're not sure how you feel about it. That way, if you're on the fence about the fragrance and you do get a negative memory attached to it, it's not a big deal because it was just something you were sampling or didn't care that much about anyway. The next thing you could think about is you could wear something that vaguely reminds you of the person or a positive experience that you had with the person. My grandfather was huge into cowboys and he was just this country man. So I actually wore kind of a Western inspired fragrance to his service called Port-au-Prince by Bee Pal. And it's the scent of buttered rum with almond, bay, clove, and sassafras. And there's something just very old-time soda feel like you should have on a cowboy hat and some boots. And that made it pleasant for me thinking of him in that way. Something else you could consider wearing is something that would be comforting for people around you. You know you're going to be hugging people, perhaps a lot during and after a service. So wear something that maybe smells like a hug, something that's very warm. I would consider, personally for my collection, Cara. Cara is one of my favorite light scents. It is simply amber, caramel, almond, talcum, and vanilla. It does not last long. It's very, very warm. I've never heard anyone not like it when I had it on. They just say, mm, you smell so good. So it's that nice warm vanilla that is definitely not offensive and not too showy. Another positive thing you can try to do is wear something very bright that is going to be uplifting. So maybe not a hug, but something that could bring a smile to someone's face and take them out of the moment of sadness just for a minute. And again, for my collection, if I was thinking of this option, I would probably wear Fide Du, which is ginger, coriander leaves, lime, bergamot, coconut, rice note, there's cardamom, jasmine, cinnamon, may rose, tonka bean, vetiver, musk, amber, leather, castorium. It has lots of layers, but for the most part, I get the ginger, the coconut, the rice notes, the lime note the spice, just kind of the cardamom, and it's grounded by all the other deeper notes. Again, really warm and nice. Not quite gourmand, but it is on the gourmand side without being too exact and foodie, even though it is inspired by um, Southeastern Asian dishes. It means literally son of God, but I think the full name is son of God rice and citrus and it means he brings the sunshine literally so if i'm gonna wear something bright that is what i will wear aside from wearing something that's not too cloying perhaps a low concentration depending on what the weather is like another turn of events to make it a little more interesting and artistic i would consider wearing something that has more funeral vibes maybe a rain note or a really good dirt note or a churchy incense note. The fragrance that I actually wanted to wear to my last funeral, I only had a sample and I couldn't find it, but it's called Death Cap by Bee Pal. 
Its description says, a lethal poison bundled up in a dainty, innocent little package that was oft times found in ancient witches, flying ointments, and astral projection bombs. A warm, soft, ruddy scent, earthy and mild. It smells like sweet, wet dirt, and it is so pleasant. I think it's the perfect funeral scent. Another one would be Coven by Andrea Mack. I have a sample of that. It is very realistic. It's woody notes, green grass, soil tincture, oak moss, whiskey, and spicy notes. While the other one is also realistic, this is straight dirt with a little bit of other. But again, I think it's a good option if you would like to do something a little more in the essence of the event that you are attending. And my third recommendation would be to wear something perhaps that has a churchy incense vibe depending on what type of service you are going to there are incense for every type of place of worship from my own collection i have country bombardi 32 it's elemi juniper bitter orange cedar sandalwood amber caramel and vanilla it is strong but it mellows out so nicely. It has a very strong sort of frankincense note and a bitter orange peel note. But in the end, it is the nicest, smoothest caramel scent. And it's based off of the smell of unburnt resins, wet stones that linger in gloomy European cathedrals, which to me makes it a perfect funeral scent. It's inspired by the ancient organs in Notre Dame, the wood, the piano, all of that. So again, a good church pew sort of scent. So those are my thoughts for choosing a funeral fragrance and a few recommendations that I have. What do you think about? What's your thought process when choosing out something for an occasion such as that? Is there a go-to scent that you usually have for funerals? Do you not wear anything at all because you're not thinking about something like that? To me, fragrance is a part of getting dressed. So outside of what you're going to wear to a service, what I'm going to smell like is always a part of my thoughts. But I hope this video was helpful and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.